What's up you guys and welcome to this video. Today I am so excited because we are going to be doing something that I absolutely love to do. We shop for cameras y'all. Okay. All right, you guys, today I am not only giving you my tips and tricks on how to go about purchasing a film camera on eBay, I'm going to be actually shopping and talking you through my process of buying cameras. And this isn't a video that's strictly for beginners. I'm going to be shopping for beginner cameras, intermediate cameras, and all of my tips can be applied to all forms of buying on eBay. So please pull up a chair, get comfortable if you're laying down, prop your neck up so you don't get stiff. I want you guys to enjoy this footage and to really take in the knowledge that I'm dropping on y'all because it's useful. And I wish someone had told me these tips and tricks when I first started buying cameras because I would have saved myself a lot of money, embarrassment, and sometimes tears at the buys I've made. But <laughs> we're far beyond that. Yo, I'm excited y'all. Few people know how much I geek out over buying film cameras. Only a select few people. And today, you guys are going to get to hear my internal dialogue. You're gonna to get to see how I go about making my camera purchases on eBay. And I can't wait. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. Let's go shopping. All right, so let's kick this thing off. I'm gonna start my eBay search by looking at some Minolta cameras. I've heard great things about them, yet I've never owned one. So uh, let me look into this Minolta X700 real quick. So I want this video to be as clear as possible. There are basically five things I always look for when shopping on eBay. Tip number one, know your budget and stick to it. This is important and it will save you from going into the hole when you see something and you think, oh, let me just buy it because I need it and it's worth it. No, we stick to our budgets around here. Gotta be disciplined. So my budget for the beginner camera is going to be no more than $50, $60. Tip number two, know how much the camera is worth that you're looking for, okay? A lot of times you'll see varying prices on eBay when you type in the make and model of the camera you want. You'll see some that are hella cheap and then you'll see some that are really expensive. You wanna have a real idea of how much this camera is actually worth and how much it's actually selling for, okay? A working camera. So what you wanna do is you wanna hop on over to in your search bar and scroll down to the completed sales tab click on it. All the prices in green are the prices that these cameras have sold for. So you want to get an idea of where the range is to realistically know how much money you can expect to spend on this particular camera. So that when you get back into your search and you see a price that's dramatically over the price of this median range, you know that person's tripping and they're trying to just catch themselves a sucker willing to pay that price. And if you see a price for the camera that's way too low, you know there's something probably wrong with this camera or the seller's desperate. More than likely, there's something wrong with this camera. So I have a list of cameras that I've already gone ahead and saved that I want to go back and look further into to find out all the details that I can about these cameras. Which leads me into tip number three. Always read the descriptions and inspect the photos that accompany the camera you're looking to buy. This is so important, okay? This is vital vital more often than not the seller will tell you in the description this camera has a scratched lens this camera doesn't work this camera is for parts only these things may not be in the title when you click on it because they want you to click onto the page to look at the camera they want you to see the photos they want you to buy it's your responsibility to do your due diligence to read what they've written about this camera. You need to know if the lens is scratched. You need to know if there's fungus. You need to know if there's specks, dust, bumps, if the shutter doesn't fire. You need to know all this stuff. And they will tell you a lot of the times in the description. And if you don't, you send that junk back, all right? Make sure it doesn't say no refunds. That's also in the description. You wanna make sure that you are getting a quality camera. So you'll see that I'm looking at my Nolta SRTs now as these cameras fall into my budget. This camera here appears to be an option. Let me go down and take a look at the description. Okay. Okay, so I'm saying some things I don't like when I buy a camera off eBay. This camera needs to be cleaned. The seller does not know if the camera is fully functioning. This camera, the, the seller is also saying buy as is. Normally when people say buy as is, there's something wrong with this camera. 
Next, you want to inspect the pictures closely that come with the camera. Now, a pet peeve of mine is when I see cameras for sale that have crappy pictures with them. How are you selling the camera and you can't take a good photo of the camera? What is that about, yo? What is that about? Bad lighting, it'd be dark, you can't really see the details on the camera. Don't, like, cameras that are being sold with bad photos, I don't even mess with them. Because you don't really know what you're getting. It's kind of like when you're on a dating app and you notice a guy that you're looking at and he has his hat really low and he's wearing some sunglasses and he only has profiles. What does he look like? You have no idea what you're going to get. Swipe. You don't want that one. Now you do want the camera quality photos where the camera's lit up, you're seeing its best angles, they're giving you the shots of the back of the film camera open so you can see if there's any corrosion, uh, they're giving you the shot through the lens so you can see if there's any fungus, any specks, any scratches on it. You're getting all the angles of the camera in the best lighting because this seller wants you to know you're getting a quality camera and those are the kind of sellers you want to be messing with. Tip number four, if you have any questions or something is unclear in the description, Contact the seller, yo. Ask questions because you do not want to buy this camera on assumptions. If there's a sentence that's written grammatically incorrect because the person may not be good at writing English or maybe their second language, or if it's just unclear, just do a follow-up message to the uh, seller and, and just clarify uh, any confusion that you have. And n most of the time they'll get back to you because like I said, they're trying to sell this camera and they are open to communicating with you. So this could just be me, but I find this uh, description down here a little bit uh, confusing. Um, EX, EX, the light meter, EX, the light meter. I don't know if that means excellent light meter or if that means accept the light meter. Good working condition, accept the light meter. Good working condition, excellent light meter. I don't know why folks don't just spell things out. Either way, this is not the abbreviation for excellent. So... Not gonna be nitpicky, not gonna be nitpicky. I'm just going to contact this seller and find out what they mean for my own peace of mind. Tip number five. So, you find a camera you like, you really like it, it's bad. You know you're going to get it. You've looked at the pictures, you like the pictures a lot, uh, you read the description, um, you have paid attention, you've done your due diligence, you know how much this camera is worth, but it's just a little bit overpriced, right? But it's the one you want. So we have to do one of my favorite things. We have to negotiate. Everything's always up for negotiation. And if you don't negotiate, you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? Because why pay more when you can pay less? Who is that? Is that pay less? That might be somebody's slogan. Let me know. So yeah, you see a camera you like, it's a little bit out of your price range because first thing we did was know how much money we were willing to spend, <laughs> okay? We know our budget and we also know how much we want to spend on this camera. And we can see that this camera is really nice, it's in good shape, but it's a bit out of our price range. What are we going to do? We're going to contact the seller. We're going to say, what's up, man? See this camera you got here? It's nice. I'll give you this much for it. Now, my rule with providing an offer is to know how much I actually want to spend on it and offer up lower than that. Because no matter what you say, the seller is probably going to come back at you with more than you originally uh, shot at him. So if I say 75, I can expect him to say either 80 or 85 as a counter offer. I have to be willing and know already that I'm willing to pay $85 for this camera. Now, if he comes back to me and he only knocks off $5, then he ain't really trying to come down off his price. So I may have to suck it up and say this camera isn't for me. And that happens sometimes. But the great thing about eBay is the camera you're looking for will come back around. You can literally set a little alert on your phone and it lets you know every time a camera that you are looking for comes on to the platform. So you get all the updates, round and round she goes. All right, so I've been thinking about getting the Nikon FE for a minute now. This one looks clean. Let me go ahead and click on the link, see what's popping off. Um, it looks good, I like how it's looking. 
problem is it's outside of my budget my budget for a more intermediate camera this Nikon specifically is $100. I don't want to spend more than $100 because I'm only buying the body for this camera. I do not need a lens. Let me see if I can talk this guy down. I'm gonna make him an offer. Okay, offer rejected. Make another offer. <laughs> cool, offer rejected. Never feel like you have to be left out. And that's a psychological thing too. When you're going into a buy, don't feel like you need these items, okay? Don't feel like you need this camera. That's the worst negotiating position you can ever be in. The person with the power is the person who's willing to walk away from the sale, okay? You don't need to sell the camera. They need to make the profit. You don't need it. The worst thing you can do is have desperation coming off of you. They can, they can feel the desperation wafting off you. They, they, know you. they know they got you on the line, okay? You're now their fish. Don't be anyone sucker, all right? If it's a bad deal, walk away. Okay, so I found a Minolta SRT camera that's within my price range of what I'm looking to spend, between 50 and $60. This shipping's too damn much, but we're gonna let that ride. Um, I'm not saying a lot of information here in the description, so I'm going to hit up this seller to make sure that the camera is in fact working because that is important to me. I want to buy a beginner working camera with a lens for, for between 50 and $60. So I'm just gonna shoot the seller a quick message and be on my way. A quick note, send it off, easy. I've also found a Nikon FE body that is close to my price range, but it's a little bit over what I'm willing to spend, but the camera is clean. I've already gone ahead and hit the seller up to see if he's open to coming down off his price. He's already hit me back with a counter offer. Uh, the counter offer was expected. I think I, I yeah, I went for I went for $15 off. I should have gone for $20 off, but I was trying to be respectful because I am serious about buying this camera. So, um, hit him with $15 lower. He came back with the offer of $90. This was expected. Y'all, look at these photos. Clean, clean, clean. Only thing that's missing for me personally is I want to see the inside of the camera from the back. He's missing the back shots. That sounded wrong. Anyways, so I'm gonna shoot this guy a quick message and see if he'd be willing to shoot me some photos of the inside of the camera to make sure that everything looks good there as well. Hey, if you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really helps me out here on YouTube, helps my video be seen by new people, and just shows me that you love me. You really, really love me. Or at least like me enough to hit that like button. Appreciate y'all. All right, in the meantime, the owner of the Minolta has hit me back. This camera works.
So I feel good about it. this particular camera. It comes with a bag, a strap, lens, and it's working. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase this. Shipping's still too much, but we're gonna suck it up because it's within my budget for this beginner camera. Deal done. Okay, the Nikon FE seller has hit me back and he has provided me with some very nice pictures of the inside of the camera. Things look pretty okay to me. I feel good about this purchase and I already know this camera works. Go ahead, make this purchase as well. Good, done, got it. Now, I also discovered while just looking at this seller's profile that he had a bunch of Nikon cameras for sale. He in particular, he has an 85 millimeter Nikon lens that I would love to get my hands on. So let me click on it, see what's going on here. All right, all right, okay. Get down to the bottom description here. Okay, we got a problem. There's some coating coming off the lens. No, I'm not gonna buy this, not gonna do it. Uh, I don't play about my glass. Um, I will take some light dusting. So now I have it in my head that I want a Nikon 85 millimeter lens. Um, I've always wanted an 85 millimeter Nikon lens. So it's not like it's out of the realm of what I want. Um, I've already looked up to see how much this lens goes for. This lens can go up to about $300 plus dollars uh, if people are tripping. This one looks really good, 159. It's in good condition. A little bit of light dusting that doesn't affect the photos. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this one and feel good about it. Woo, I feel good. Feel a rush, feel endorphins wafting off my body. That's how good I feel when I make good purchases on eBay. I feel like I've accomplished something today. I've accomplished something. I've taught you guys how to buy cameras on eBay and I've made some good purchases. Now all we have to do is wait for our cameras to come in and inspect them to see if we got the gems we believe we did. Any day now, five to 10 days they'll be here. I wonder if they have my shipping information already up. I hate waiting. Go for a cup of tea. Before you go, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I will see you all next week for another one. All right, everybody, peace.